Hi, this is Arthur Hill, Senior Technical Analyst with StockCharts.com. Today's instructional video will show you how the dynamic yield curve works. Here are the topics in the timeline for today. First, we'll show you how you can access the dynamic yield curve. Then we will go over the parts of the page. We'll show you how to work with the trail length. Then we'll show you how to compare using snapshots. And finally, we'll go over the clear, animate, and show info functions. Accessing the dynamic yield curve. I'm here on the free charts page, and there are two places you can access the dynamic yield curve. The first is on the right navigation. You see charting tools, and at the bottom you have the dynamic yield curve link. You can also scroll down the page, and you will see the different sections, and you see a section for the dynamic yield curve, and you just click that button to launch it. You can also access the dynamic yield curve from the members page if you click on that link at the top. And on the left, you have your control center. And if you scroll down, you'll see charting tools. And at the bottom, you will see the dynamic yield curve. Parts of the dynamic yield curve page. On the left-hand side of the page, we have the yield curve itself, and that is shown in the yield curve pane. The red line is the yield curve. On the y-axis, we can see the range for the yield. On the x-axis, we can see the maturities, three months, two years, five years, all the way to 30 years. On the right side, we have the S&P 500 for reference with the date scale at the bottom and the price scale on the y-axis. The current date shown here is the 27th of October. And on the right, we have the date slider and you can move that date line. I can click and drag it to a particular spot, or I can click anywhere on the chart to move it. So if I see a high here, and I wanna see what the yield curve looked like then, I can click right there on the chart and then look at the yield curve. And I can also slide this and the yield curve will change as I slide along the date axis of the S&P 500 chart. At the bottom, we have some other controls trail length, snapshot, clear, and animate, which I'll go over in more detail in a minute. And we also have links for quick tips, instructions, and a permalink if you want to share that chart. Working with the trail length. Chartists can use the trail link to see how the yield curve has changed over time, and it's about a six-month trail. So I've selected the 2007 high on the S&P 500 as my starting point. If I go to the trail length slider and I move that out to the maximum, you can see how the yield curve has changed. The shorter yields were above 4.65% at the beginning of the period, and they moved down as we came into this point in 2007, September 2007. And again, we can click on any point on that S&P 500 chart to see how the yield curve looked at that particular time. And you can see I'm near the 2008-2009 lows. The current yield curve is in red, and you can see the darker lines show how it has changed over the last six months or so. You can see the longer yields have come down significantly. Comparing with snapshots. We can also use the snapshot feature to compare the yield curve to various points in time. So again, I'm going to go to this 2007 high because it was a significant event here. And you can see the yield curve as it is now around 4.65% roughly. And I'm going to take a snapshot by clicking the snapshot button. Now, when I click on the red date slider line, I'm going to see how the yield curve compares to that snapshot. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop it at the 2009 low. So we have our snapshot in 2007, and now you can see at the 2009 low, the yield curve looks completely different. Using the clear, animate, and show info functions. If I want to remove the snapshot that I've taken, I would just click the clear button there and that snapshot will be removed. You can also animate the yield curve to see how it has changed from a particular point in time. So again, I'll move to the 2007 high. And if I wanna see that exact high, I can 
click the Show Info box, tick that box, and then scroll up to see the high and the price. If I click the Animate button, I will get an animated yield curve. So you can see the yield curve is changing as we move along the date axis of the S&P 500 chart. I can always pause that if I want to see the yield curve at a particular point in time and then click Animate to reanimate it. And that concludes this instructional video on the dynamic yield curve. Thanks very much for tuning in and be sure to check out our other instructional videos.